GitHub is such an important piece of the entire web and open source ecosystem. If I was to sit here and say GitHub is bad and evil, it would be dishonest. It's one of the most important tools that's allowed for the web and open source to evolve to the point it has today. GitHub is an incredible tool made by incredible people, but man, I wish it was better, I'll be honest. It's not the best experience for everything from code reviews to stacking PRs to large teams just trying to ship changes. GitHub has felt more and more like it's slowing me down. On top of that, Git might not be the best primitives for building applications, especially at scale, especially when you wanna move fast. And I keep hearing stories about tools like Fabricator over at Facebook that allow those teams to move way faster using things like stack diffs. I've been so curious about this for a while. When I was at Amazon, we were all in on Git. And when I was at Twitch, we were all in on GitHub Enterprise. So I've wanted to see what things look like with these other tools for a while now. And that's why Graphite caught my attention. Graphite initially kind of seemed like they were doing what Superhuman did to email, but to GitHub. So it's a layer on top of GitHub that has a better interface, better tooling, and it's focused around one important piece. And this is what took a while to click for me. It's built on top of stack diffs. A diff is somewhere between a commit and a branch, but I I'm not going to be able to just explain it here. I want to show you all how this works. Before we do that, though, I do want to disclose this video is sponsored. I want to be sure y'all understand this isn't like they paid me to be super kind and courteous to them. I've been keeping an eye on Graphite for a while now, and I'm genuinely really hyped about what they're building. So much so that I pushed my whole schedule so I could work with them and build something awesome. And that's why I haven't used GitHub for weeks now. I'm so excited to show you guys what Graphite has made because it's honestly going to be my default going forward. I cannot imagine working without this tool now that I've used it. And I think once I show you guys the power of stack diffs, you'll be with me on this one. So let's start with the UI. Here's the homepage. I have this running on Edge. Well, PNPM dev, basic, photo album. You see my little profile picture here. Welcome, Theo. I don't love where this text is placed, so let's fix that really quick. If I recall, we have a bunch of layout properties here. Min height screen is going to be weird because that's going to make this scroll when it doesn't necessarily need to. So let's fix that first. We'll leave the BG black and text white and delete everything else. We see the text is near the top. I want to store these changes. I want to put these up for review for my team. The traditional workflow would have been, I select all the files, I make a commit, I realize I was on the wrong branch, I go make a new branch for that commit, I sync that with origin, I push that up, I make a pull request, I fill out all the information, and then my team can review it. So let's not do that. Let's try out this new workflow instead. With Graphite, they have a CLI, and I highly, highly recommend you use the CLI. We want to make a box that has these changes in it. And remember when I said before, it's somewhere between a commit and a branch? The way to think about this is to start with the work you did and then move forward based on what you want to do with it. So rather than making the branch, then making the changes, then making the commit, make the changes and then based on what you want to do with them, make a decision. So here I made changes. I'm on main. I want to make a different place for these changes. So I'm going to type GT create so I can create a new place for these changes. Here it gives me options where I can commit all. I can select changes using dash P patch, which I do love to do, but I know what these changes are. So we're just going to commit them all. Immediately kicks me into Vim so I can quickly type out uh, fixed home layout. Save that. And now I have my one change on a new branch. When I'm ready to sync this, GTSS will sync all pending changes up to be reviewed. And I can put a title in here quickly, skip, so I can just edit the body on the site, publish pull request. And here's the link to Graphite. We'll go to Graphite, but I want to show you guys something very important when we get there. Even though we're on Graphite right now, this isn't a Graphite PR. We click the little button here, you can see it's still on GitHub. This is a GitHub PR. Graphite is building on top of GitHub. They're not replacing it. So yes, the title's a little clickbaity. I am still using GitHub. I'm still working with GitHub, but man, it's so powerful to have this new layer of tooling on top. And the new review system inside of Graphite itself is dope having actual hotkeys for everything you need to do for a quick approve flow, jumping to next file, jumping to next thread, but most importantly, versions and stacks. So let's play with these a little bit. Let's say someone left a comment. I'll even do it myself. Text should be bigger by default. So now we have a thread going where I said text should be bigger by default. We're going to go do that. So here I have text white. We want to make this text XL. That's a much, much nicer size. Cool. So how do I get that up there? I can use GT modify. Same deal. Commit all. That's done. And then when I want to sync it, GTSS. And now it's synced. If we look at how this was handled on GitHub, we're going to see something a little bit scary. We're going to see that it force pushed, which is like, if you know me, you know I'm not fond of force pushing and rebasing and a lot of these things, but this workflow makes it so much, so much more sensical. Because if we go over to Graphite, you'll see there's a new version now, and you can compare to different force pushed commits. So I can see the diff between left and right here, which is V1 and V2 of these changes, and we can see specifically that the change here is I went from BG black to BG black text Excel. This makes it significantly easier 
to see what you've changed between things without worrying about force pushing. This was one of those oh shit moments where I realized part of what I feared from force pushing was a UX issue in the review flow. And this helps a ton with that, where I can compare between different versions because it persists the old commit. The force push is on the branch level, not the commit level. So that was really cool. But let's say I want to keep working on this before it's done being reviewed. I want to go change the text on the home page to reflect this stuff. So we have this new container and I'll just change it to hello. So I have this new change, but I don't necessarily want this change to be part of this PR because I want people to approve of this PR separately. This is where stack diffs get really cool. I can GT create again, commit all again. I'll give it a quick message. Obviously you can do dash M shorthand it. I'm just being lazy here. Update home page copy. Save that. GTSS again. And you see it's going to sync all of the things I have open here. So if I have 15 stacks locally, this will handle all of that. I can update the home page copy. That's the title. Skip publish. And this will happen for all of the different stacks you have locally that haven't been synced yet. So once again, I'm going to go here. We now see that this is part of a stack. The home page is the bottom of the stack. And then we have the home page copy as the next part of the stack. So we can now choose what behaviors we want for the stack when things are approved. I can hit the merge when ready button, enable for down stack, which means that everything below this will also merge once it's ready. So let's hit enable. So now once all these things are approved and CI is passed, this is all going to merge top to bottom. Since I don't have strict checks on this repo, it doesn't require review before something merges. This is going to merge as soon as all the checks pass. Waiting to merge. It is merging now. Looks like we're good. And obviously, if you're ever unsure in their UI, you can check GitHub and see, yeah, eight closed. Looks like that PR is closed. We're all good. But what do we do about our work here? I'm on this different branch. How do I get back to main? How do I make sure since I'm making all these branches that I keep things clean? This was one of those additional oh shit moments for me. GT sync is a command you should run a lot to make sure all of your stuff is up to date according to main. We're going to run it here quick and it's going to go through all of the branches that have been merged and say, hey, are you cool with deleting this? And then auto switches me back to main. One command cleared out all of the things that have been merged and got me back home. These are like little things, but they make working on a lot of things at once so much better. And these little workflow wins are the things I kept finding as I was using Graphite. And the stack mentality of make a change, then decide if that change should be a commit, should be part of an existing PR or if it should be a new stack. It's so much simpler. And I, I know that's weird. And especially if you're very familiar with Git, this feels so different and complex, but it's been way simpler to work with. And I'm going to show you one more quick example of how this is so powerful. Let's make two different changes at the same time. So now we're back on main. Let's work on a new page. I'll just grab all the content from here. I don't even need current user here. So it doesn't need to be async anymore. And I can delete that. So here's a new page I just made. You can really quickly see slash info, some info about our service. That works as expected. So how do we work with that? What do we do to take advantage of this? First and foremost, GT create. Commit all changes. We need to give it a name. Let's call this uh, info page. But now I want to work on something else. So I'll go back to main GT trunk. That's the quickest way to get back to your trunk default branch. I'm going to go make another change. Let's change the base text color quick. I'm going to change text to slate 100. Also, I just wrote git. Any commands that GT doesn't have will be passed through to git. So if I do GT status instead, it will pass that through as though you ran git status. So now I can GT create again, commit all. It still works with stage stuff. I just think this workflow is really nice Do change change text color WQ. And now I have these two different stacks. And if I want to switch between them, you can use the graphite VS code extension, which is so, so dope. And here I have these two different branches that I'm working on right now. These are gray because they haven't been submitted and click submit to make it a PR super quick. So I click submit there. That will submit it or again, failed to submit. Oh, but I guess when you click submit in here by default, it becomes a draft. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep using the CLI for submitting things because that's what I'm used to. GTSS change text color, skip, publish. I go back to VS Code. We'll see. This one's open now. But if I want to switch to the other branch so I can submit that, I can just click checkout here in the UI. These are all of the different stacks I'm working on locally right now. They all have this nice UI and a really quick way to switch between them all within VS Code itself. This is so nice. And when I submit again, oh, GTSS, oops, oh, look, that was fine. Info page, skip, publish. And now I have both of these PRs up. If I go quickly merge them both, Oh, yeah, I can uh, GTPR and it will show me the PR from the current branch I'm on. So I'm just going to merge this blindly. Admin merge. Do the same for nine quick merge. And once again, GT sync, and it will delete all of these other branches and kick me back to main. Such a quick workflow for working on a ton of things at once. If you have a change that hasn't been approved and it's blocking other things, just, just keep stacking on it. It's fine. If you have an entirely different branch you want to work off of as well, you can go do that too. It's 
really changed how I think about the pieces of work. Because stacks, again, they're not just commits and they're not just branches. They're this new secret third thing, which silly as that sounds, ends up making a lot more sense for your work. If you rethink your workflow and don't start with a branch and then make changes and then make those commits, instead you make changes and then you decide, should these changes be part of my current stack? Should they be stacked on top? Or should they go on a different stack entirely? It makes it way easier to chunk up your work and break it into the way you're thinking about it and how your team wants to review it. The same way commits can be so many different things, a stack can be too. And you can choose if a stack has multiple commits in one stack, if the entire stack itself has one commit each, and where you break up branches, where you break up commits, where you break up all that isn't what you're thinking about anymore. You're just making changes and then picking where they go after. And this also means that if you have a stack of changes and one, two, and four have been approved and three hasn't, it's really easy to go in there and make changes to three. It's super nice. One other thing they handle really well is when changes get stale. So let's once again make two branches is quick. I need to come up with more things to change. I'm going to go back to text white. GT create back to white GT trunk and we'll do one more change. Change this text GT create update info copy GT assess to sync that publish. And again, uh, oh, if you want to look at the other work you have locally, can't remember what it was. I used it yesterday a bunch. GTCO. There we go. Check out. So here I can check out all the different stacks that I have locally. Both of these are based on main, which you can see here. So let's go back to white GTSS in order to make a PR for that first. Skip, publish. It's so nice being able to do all of this from a CLI, by the way. I don't know if y'all have used the GitHub CLI. It's like 17 steps for everything. This is just instant. GTPR to look at this PR. We'll merge this one quick. Admin merge, because I'm sure it's fine. GT sync once more. That will kick me back to main. It says, do you want to delete the branch? Sure. And also, here's where things get really interesting. It just restacked the other branch. So if I go to the update info copy branch now, again, visible right in here, check out this branch. This has been rebased. So if I go to layout, the text color has changed appropriately. Normally, rebasing is messy because you're doing it way too late and the likelihood of really bad conflicts is massive. But when you're rebasing every time you sync super quickly, you run into those conflicts much less often and they end up being much smaller. And since the stack system, lets you work from the base node up, it's really easy for you to resolve the conflicts at the lowest node in your stack. They carry upwards from there. I, again, am not the biggest fan of rebase normally, but this feels a lot less like rewriting history, a lot more like moving stacks around based on where changes are happening. And I, yeah, I'm blown away with this workflow. I really want to go into the UI and the cool things they're doing with notifications. But I want to show one more thing on how they carry changes between GitHub and Graphite. So GTCO, hop over to this branch. Oh, we're already there, get status. We see here there's a difference. GTSS will handle that for us. Pushing and changing, cool. Let's add one more thing to this stack. Let's also create a TOS page. Terms of service. Cool. Now we have a TOS page. I want to make a new PR for that. So GT create committal changes. This is a new diff on top of our existing stack. So a TOS page, GTSS again, TOS page, cool, skip, publish, GTPR. Here's the pull request on Graphite. Obviously, we have this really nice view with the existing stack and what is and isn't there and what has and hasn't changed, as well as the versions. But let's say you have somebody on your team that's not using Graphite yet, that's on GitHub still, or this is an open source project where a lot of the people are still on GitHub. It's actually really easy to keep track of the stack still because this is nice UI that's just a comment that's automatically made and generated by Graphite that shows you which part of the stack you're on, what depends on what, makes it really clear where you are and what is changing. I am genuinely really hyped about this workflow. And these little details in terms of the interop between GitHub and Graphite are a huge part of why this is adoptable. Somebody in chat just said, it's not something different and new so much as it's easier to use advanced Git patterns. And honestly, that's pretty true. The stack diff mindset comes from other tools that aren't Git. But when mapped onto Git using Git's advanced tools, you end up kind of being a Git wizard. And that's how I felt. There's a lot of parts of Git I've been scared to use, especially with a team with newer devs that aren't necessarily familiar with what a rebase does. And this lowers the barrier for entry for those things significantly. But I've been talking a lot about pushing up code. I wouldn't be doing this video justice, and I certainly wouldn't be doing y'all justice if I didn't show you the most groundbreaking part, which is how much better the Graphite dashboard is. If you are part of more than one repo, you know GitHub's notifications are useless. GitHub's notifications are absolutely useless. And I am sorry, I know people work hard on the product. I know that they're trying to fix it. I've even talked to people who are working on it. GitHub's notifications are an absolute mess and they get in my way more than they make my life easier. It is significantly simpler to set up Graphite to have everything where you want it. The defaults are great where it just shows you the things that need your review that have you requested.
it's really easy to see what's merged recently, what's been passed back to you because you have a PR that somebody said needs to make changes. And you saw there I dragged a bit. This whole UI is customizable. I can change which elements are where. I can create new sections that have different names that filter specific repos and have different conditions for why they should or shouldn't show. Even if their defaults aren't good, you can make your exact perfect dashboard for code review. And as someone who spends much more time code reviewing than coding nowadays, this is a game changer. This gets me excited to hop in and do code reviews because I know when I open up this dashboard, the thing that is the most important for me to look at is going to be right at the top here. That's a huge, huge app from where notifications have been on GitHub. And honestly, this was where I started. I opened up the Graphite app. I set things up really quick to put my reviews on top. And then I started using this new UI for code reviews. Even in my tiny 720p streaming screen setup, this is a really usable review UI. And I've been beyond pumped with my experience using it for all sorts of code reviews now for weeks. I, yeah, even if you were just using the Graphite UI for code reviews, it's still a massive win compared to GitHub. Even if you were just using the CLI, it's still a massive win compared to GitHub CLI. Even if you were just using stack diffs, it's a massive win compared to traditional branching and commit workflows. And if you've ever been in the situation where you have a PR that hasn't been approved and you want to keep working on top of that, then you end up with these three chained PRs with a bunch of conflicts that are impossible to review you and merge, all of these things are fixed by graphite. And I have felt a massive quality of life win in the short time I've been using it for now. It took a bit to click, especially the stack diff stuff. Having a new workflow around Git, when I've been using Git now for what, like 10 years? That was very strange initially. But man, I am so happy with the win that I felt as a result. Git's a scary tool, and it has allowed for so much incredible stuff to be built. But it's about time we challenge what Git is and how we use it. And it's certainly time we challenge GitHub and the experience it provides for us as developers. Graphite's the first time I've felt a huge win in my quality of experience working with changes as a developer, both on the review side and on the creation side. I'm already seeing how much faster I can move when I think less about which branch is where and what it depends on. And I'm thinking more about the changes in my editor and just getting those up to my team. I'm genuinely really hyped about what they're building here. And yes, they sponsor the video, but I would be just as hyped if they didn't. I'm just thankful they're working with me so that we can share what they're building. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to hear more about why I'm scared of things like Git Rebase, I'll pin a video about that there. Let me know in the comments what you think about Graphite and if you're as hyped as I am about what they're building. Seriously, thank you all so much. This is super fun and you should expect to see Graphite in a lot of my videos going forward. Peace nerds.